All right, let's see if this is going to work because I haven't done a live stream in a while and I probably have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Give me a minute. I want to make sure that the audio is good because if you can't hear me, there's not a whole lot of point in any of this. And the audio does appear to be working, so good. All right, so um, got access to a new pre-trained model today, uh, 224 resolution pre-trained model that has like 10 million iterations of training um, on the pre-training, which allows it to quickly pick up and uh, train something new. So for deep face, like for regular models, like a lot of the stuff that I do is higher resolution than that. Uh, we're not going to screw with it for that sort of thing, probably. Um, but for deep face live, which we use 224 resolution models, uh, I was able to train a Christian Bale model in like 90 minutes maybe closer to two hours i let it go for a little bit but um because of the massive pre-training of again 10 million iterations is insane that would take quite a while even on really high-end hardware so uh it learned it super fast like within like the first 10,000 iterations it was already looking pretty good and like i say it's it's not perfect like I could, if i let it train overnight it would be phenomenal i don't even have gan enabled on it yet this is just uh i did like 30,000 iterations on random warp I did like 5,000 with random warp plus learning rate dropout, and then I disabled random warp, and I'm just doing learning rate dropout for like the last 10,000 or so, and here we go. I will show you what I'm talking about. It looks pretty damn good. Uh, there it is. Sharpen this up a little bit. I don't know why I'm having this flickering issue. You can see, I don't know what's causing that, that it's flickering like that. I've tried like every setting I can think of, and it hasn't helped, so I don't have to tell you, but I mean... That looks really good for 90 minutes. And it even, you know, gets the teeth pretty good. The reason the mouth, um, like when I, I can't get him to close his, like do it like a, just a smile with his teeth together because I have a gap in my teeth. And every time Deep Face Live seems to recognize that gap between my upper and bottom teeth, bottom teeth as if my mouth is still open. So can't do anything about it. But look, I mean... Just the reactions from it and everything are really pretty good. Like the angles aren't bad either, etc. This isn't so hot. Uh, not too bad from this angle. And I got my new, um, well, it's not new, it's a used camera, but I bought a DSLR camera from uh, a pawn shop uh, like a few weeks ago. And I got a, um, I'm running it through my capture card. Now, I'm just using my workstation PC right now. I'm training something on my, my uh, 3090 Ti. So this is on the RTX A6000. Uh, Threadripper workstation system, but uh, the frame rate is like around 24, but this is at 720p that I'm running this as opposed to like you normally When I've done these in the past I've used like seven I think it's like 740 by 480 or something in the window size and this is obviously higher than that and I mean good god it looks really good for For again like an hour and a half worth of time now again like give it overnight give it a couple of days uh, you know, train this one for like 500,000 or something stupid. It wouldn't take that long on a 3090 or a better, you know, I know 3090 not. Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, oh, I know. I know, man. Um, I kind of feel like I should have done something like that myself by now and just gone ahead and done that. The most I've ever had on any pre-training I did was, uh, was like a million. Um, and that's, you know, that's pushing it. I pre-trained like my 640 that I use. Uh, on a few different things to like 350,000 and I got tired of waiting for that because pre-training uh, You know at that resolution just takes freaking forever, but uh, I think they look like that much better on the DSLR camera You can see a lot more detail in the face that with my previous webcam. I wasn't getting so appreciate you stopping into the chat the um, The stream dude. Let me switch over to my Arnold model that I still have on here Real quick and we'll see how that looks I know it looks like it's frozen up for a second. And Arnold on here looks pretty good with the, uh, you know, with this, with this camera. And, you know, up I can get up close and I still have pretty good detail. It's maybe too close. I don't want to be that unattractive to the camera. Now, this one probably needs more training time. And actually, I would like to redo this one using the RTT uh, pre-trained model and see if I got a better result out of it. I ran some of these uh, Arnold source images through Remini earlier because I had some other some of them that were like side profiles that uh, 
that were from you know scenes that the best I could find, but they were never very good quality. And so I upscaled some of that stuff. And um, again, I'd like to restart training this from scratch. And I bet like in a hundred thousand iterations, I could have it look as good or better than than this already. And this is like three point one million. That's how much better that RTT model seems to uh, produce results. So, anyways, I'm not going to sit here and uh, waste everybody's time for too long. But again, I'll just go back to Bale one more time, just for fun. And again, it makes me change sharpening again. But um, like I say, for for 90 minutes of training time, this is, in my opinion, astonishing how good this this turned out. I could say another uh, few hours or make an overnight, and really it'd be about, you know, I don't know how much better it would get with GAN, but I definitely plan to try it. And, uh, you know, I guess if anybody has any uh, re requests for live models that they want to see me try, since I can do it so fast now, uh, and I've got a couple computers I can use to do this sort of thing, just uh, maybe shoot me a message on here, leave a comment, and uh, I will, you know, if I've got the source material, I can do it pretty quickly if I don't I can probably put it together I want to do um Ernest from like Ernest goes to jail Ernest goes to camp all that stuff that's uh Jim Varney I think he'd be fun <laughs> to do in here he has so many crazy facial expressions uh but even uh Christian Bale has a lot of good ones like like this one here like from the American Psycho <laughs> he's like you know ah, he's gonna kill you with an axe kind of axe murder uh Christian Bale but yeah guys uh Anyways, appreciate everybody watching. If uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you consider subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Sort of having a, still getting some pretty good growth to the channel, but it's sort of been stalling out just a little bit lately. I think that's uh, comes and goes. But I'd like to you know keep building up the numbers. So appreciate everybody watching. If you like the video, maybe give it a thumbs up. Maybe you leave a comment to help me out in the algorithm. And I'll make another video again here real soon as I continue to play around with this uh, vastly improved time frame for making these models. Talk to you guys later.